Hey there, it's Monkey. I'm going to take you through a quick install of what I think is the easiest to use mod manager for Valheim, R2 Modman. This works for both Steam and PC Game Pass. I've got timestamps for each of the steps so you can follow along and pause the video as you go or come back and jump around, whatever you want. Whenever there's an option for a path, such as where do you want to download or install, etc., you can just use the defaults like I'm going to do or customize to your specific setup. If you find this video helpful, please hit the like button, leave a comment, subscribe if you haven't yet. All of that helps my channel. Okay, let's go. Step one, we're gonna use the link that's down in the description to pull up R2 Modman on the Thunder Store. That's this, I already have the page up behind me here. And you're gonna wanna click on manual download. Again, I'm downloading it to just my downloads folder. Once it's there, you're gonna wanna to navigate to that folder right click on the zip file, click on extract all, and then save it to wherever you normally save your junk to. Once you have it extracted, just open the folder. You're gonna to wanna to look for a setup.exe file. It's gonna have a different version number based off of the date that you downloaded it from. And then just run the executable. If you run it as administrator, you'll get an option to install it for all users. If you open it like I did, you're just gonna get the option to install it to your own profile. It doesn't matter really. Use whatever install path you're gonna use. If this is the first time you've ever installed R2 Modman, you're gonna get a pop-up from Windows Defender that's going to warn you uh, about this executable. Just click on more info and then run anyway to get Windows Defender to let you run the executable. Once it's installed, just click on finish. It'll launch R2 Modman. With that pulled up, you'll see game selection in front of you. You can either scroll down or just type in VAL. That'll bring up Valheim. You can either select game or set it as your default. I'm gonna set mine as a default. You pick which platform you play on, whether it's Steam or Xbox Game Pass. I'm playing on Steam in this case, and then you select platform. At this point, you're gonna be on the profile selection page. Just click on select profile. You should be using the, the default one. I, I have one set up for this tutorial in particular. And you're gonna see that there's no mods installed at this point. So you can either click on the here link or click on online on the left in order to start installing mods. The first mod you're gonna to wanna to install by default is going to be Beppin EX. That is a support module that supports a lot of other mods. Most of the other mods that you install are going to require that you have Beppin EX installed. So we're just gonna go ahead and download that and click on download with dependencies and it'll download it and install it. Now, if we go to installed mods, for example, you'll see we have BEP and EX installed. One of the other mods that we're gonna to wanna to install is the configuration manager for BEP and EX. That's going to allow you to configure your mods while you're either in the game menu or in game itself to, to change settings and stuff like that. It's way easier than having to go in and modify your CFG files through, the, through Windows. So we just type in uh, either Beppin EX, and that will that should show official Beppin EX configuration manager by Azimat. A anything that you want to type to get you there, but I just typed in Beppin EX. It's the fifth one down on the list. And then same thing, we'll click on download, download with dependencies. These are the two baseline packs that I would say are obligatory to have installed. Once you've done that, you can go back to the online tab, search for a lot of different mods, you know, whatever you want, whatever, whatever flavor that you want to install. Say you wanted to install, for example, Epic Loot, you just type out Epic Loot. In this case, you would look for Randy Knapp, that's the original version, and just click on download, download with dependencies, and it, just like with the two original packs, that'll show up there. Whenever one of these mods needs to be updated, when you launch R2 Modman, you'll see a notification that one of your mods needs to be updated. You can click on it to update it. It's really easy, really straightforward. Once you have all of the mods that you want to play with downloaded, you can either click on Start Modded up in the upper left-hand corner of R2 Modman to launch the game with all those mods that you downloaded, or click on Start Vanilla if you just wanna go back to, to launching as a, from the vanilla game. Or if you want to make it so that you can launch the game with mods from within Steam itself, for example, go down to Help down here. There's a Launching the Game from Outside the Mod Manager. Take this string down here, this doorstop string, highlight it, Control c to copy it. Go to your Valheim install on Steam, click on the Manage Gear, and then Properties, and then down below Launch Options, there is a field for you to paste in that doorstop argument. 
Once you have it pasted in, you can just click on play and it will launch the game from within Steam itself. You don't have to use the start modded buttons inside R2 Modman. If you don't do this argument, you'll always have to launch R2 Modman and click on start modded in order to be able to run the game with mods. So to verify your install, just launch the game. You should see a window pop up here that says Bepin EX. That will let you know right off the bat that Bepin EX is running. And then eventually the splash screen for Valheim will start popping up. Once you have the game pulled up in the upper left hand corner, you'll see what version of Bepin EX you're running, how many other plugins you have loaded, etc. To configure your mods before you get in the game, you can just hit F1. A mod manager screen will pop up. This is what Configuration Manager is and what it does for you. It allows you to modify any of your mods without having to chase down the CFG files. So just click on the mod you want to manage. Epic Loot, in this case for me, maybe I want to change uh, whether players have to know the recipes or not. Change all the settings you want, and then you can jump into the game and start playing. Once you're in the game, if you want to change some settings on your mods, again, Hitting F1 will pull up that Configuration Manager window inside the game. You can change your mods on the fly. It's really easy. If you need to install any additional mods or disable any mods and whatnot, you're going to need to go back to R2 Modman. Quit Valheim first. Go back to R2 Modman. Make whatever changes you need to do in terms of what mods are enabled or disabled. There's toggles for each mod. You can easily go through, toggle them on or off, just to verify which ones are, are causing a problem or not. If you do have any questions with the install for R2 Modman or troubleshooting any of those conflicts, try turning some off and on first, but feel free to ask down in the comments below. I wish you the best of luck traveling in Valheim. May you have lots of battle and lots of mead, and I'll see you next time. Take care.